the danger theory is the theory of why the immune system reacts to damage and this little demonstration is designed to show why now as computer scientists we're not usually known for our physical demonstrations that's our physics and chemistry counterparts if this goes horrifically wrong so Yeah. The so. Next to it. <laughs> crazy, crazy noise. Right. So what I've got here is I've got a balloon with some bits in it, and this represents a cell that has obviously some internal constituents. So in the cell, you've got things like the nucleus, which contains the rough and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and um, also things, little organelles called mitochondria. So your cells are filled with quite a lot of stuff. And all of the stuff is kept behind a cell membrane and that keeps the cell intact. And there are two different ways in which a cell can die. And cells can die in a planned way called apoptosis or can die in an unplanned way called necrosis. Now, the immune system is clever enough to detect whether its tissue cells are dying from necrosis or apoptosis. And in apoptosis, what we have is we have a cell um, and it receives something called a death signal. So this happens when cells um, just die because of cell turnover or during, um, or during development, for example, we in the womb have webbing between our fingers and apoptosis gets rid of those excess cells so that's the process of, of in a controlled manner so what happens is um, it's a very energ energetically um, con consumptive process so it consumes a lot of energy to do this and what happens is um, is a molecule will, will bind to this cell and will tell the cell that it's time to die and what happens is the cell degrades in a very slow, very controlled process, as demonstrated by me simply letting the air out of this balloon, like so. And what's important about this process is that everything that is contained within the cell membrane is still contained within the cell membrane. So when the cell dies, it dies off eventually, it shrinks and becomes so small that a T-cell from the immune system or a phagocyte can come along and will just simply eat it up. Right? So the important thing about that process is the cells now died and everything that was with, within the cell membrane is still within that cell membrane, now it's being digested. Conversely, in necrosis, necrosis is where you get an injury to the cell. And there are several different um, mechanisms which can cause cell injury. One of those is bacteria, one of those is viruses, heat, um, excessive cold, UV radiation, free radicals. There's lots of different ways a cell can die, but generally it, it's what you, you want the immune system to detect this. So how it does it is this. Again, we have our cell with all, the, all its little bits inside it, but um, how apoptosis is a very controlled and very graceful process. Um, the process of necrosis is uh, a little bit different. It's quite unplanned and what happens is exactly that. Just as the balloon exploded, the cell explodes. And as you can see, my office is now covered in these small silver stars. Everything that was inside the cell is now outside of the cell. The immune system can detect these little molecules, which is a rapid response to um, the oxidation of the molecules of the, the bits that were inside the cell. And that's how the immune system uses the danger theory and tells the difference between apoptosis and necrosis.